Hi friends, welcome to my channel. So to today's topic is trend line. So trend line is very useful command or useful concept in Splunk, where you want to find out the trend in your data or kind of a behavior in, in your data. So let's move further. The definition of trend line is computing the moving average of fields. Simple moving average first. So it is considered simple moving average, exponential moving average and weighted moving average. The output is returned to a new variable which you can specify. So uh, this looks bit bit complicated but uh, in, in simple simple language we will try to understand uh, with the example so let's see you uh, over the over the period of time you want to calculate uh, the average uh, on daily basis so uh, so it should be a simple moving like say uh, i want to calculate average for first uh, for first five occurrence one two three four five and through this trend line, we can a simple moving average SMA. Uh, what we can give is if you if you will give a value as five, it will take a five arguments one two three four five sum that and and give the result as uh, sum of divided by five. So this will be your moving average for for uh, for this now when the value comes in here the next occurrence the value comes like 17 so now you are uh, the values which is going to be sum will shifted towards a right hand side so it will uh, you can consider one two three four five it will uh, it will remove this value and 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 get the values of this sum sum of that and and uh, divided by five so this is the very simple concept uh, so we can again go over here uh, it is written that sma and uh, simple moving average and weighted moving average both compute uh, a sum over the period of most recent value okay so so this will consider the most recent value uh, sma consider the most recent value and weighted moving average wma put more weight on recent value rather than a past value okay and ema exponential moving average calculates like this so this is the formula of uh, uh, exponential moving average so you can see it over here alpha uh, into EMA T minus 1 plus 1 minus alpha and into the field value where alpha is 2 divided by period plus 1 and the fields is the current value. So this is the typical formula you can apply out on your data and you can get that. So we should not go, go much in, in deeper we uh, rather we can leverage uh, the Splunk, uh, ready-made Splunk, Splunk functionality so it will give you better insight from your data so let's try to understand more details about it so this is the syntax trend trend type period fields and the new fields so trend type is again it, it, it can be a simple moving average exponential moving average or weighted moving average now period you need to define for uh, how many occurrence or how many uh, values you need to uh, get the average okay moving average it, it, it is called moving average whenever the new data comes in the new data will qualify for uh, calculating the averages I explained earlier so the number can be between uh, 2 to 10,000 so these many numbers can be a part of average so field on which you want to uh, calculate the average and the new field uh, you can rename that field so usage can be very easy so this is the let's let's go and and uh, learn it by example so i i have some 
data for like say dynatrace i guess dynatrace uh, i don't have current data i need to go to all time data source i will define it as so i have created already just the explaining purpose i am i am uh, explaining it one by one so this is the source type where my data is now the next one is i time series time time series that means this is the value like this is the uh, memory usage memory usage for for this particular host so I also i have the host name so this is as per as per my data so you can convert uh, uh, the query as per your data so i i got the matrix memory usage and for this particular host so all time this is the data for memory usage so it is taking bit time bit time as uh, i selected it for uh, for all so this is the data so this is the matrix memory usage for this particular uh, host so you can see it over here the data so it the data is a bit complicated you can see it's in in json or or multi valued format now let's go and time chart this command Sorry. time chart this command time chart that means i am i am i am uh, uh, uh summing up the value for every 5 minutes and giving it as a uh, name as value so for so for for span the bucket of uh, events is every 5 minutes so the data can be coming in 1 minute 2 minute 3 minute so it will sum up all the data coming in every 5 minute bucket and uh, as you know that save uh, the as value it, it will it will rename uh this one otherwise just let's see how it comes in so you can see the sum underscore value over here in the field so you can see sum sum and value whatever it is so i am just renaming it so so that it will give you the proper output so now you now you have uh, the data uh, bucket the data bucket is 5 minute now let's move to the trend line command so trend line so what is the syntax trend line uh, sma you need to provide a numerical value this 5 uh, 2 1 uh, minimum is 2 and up tell you you can go till 10000 values so simple moving average of value this is here and convert uh, convert it and means uh, rename it to trend let's see how it goes so again it is taking bit longer uh, bear with me for some time until it comes in so see the values values will be written so you will not get that data until it uh, you will not get the trend until it 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 gets the five values you can see it 1 2 3 4 5 so it sum all these values and calculate the average now how the next will get calculated you go it from here 1 2 3 4 5 sum all and give the data so so on so this will provide you a trend visualization you can do the visualization as well how see the trend and the value uh, this is the better because you do not have any data in between actual data so you will so this is the trend and this is the value simple moving now if you want to calculate the weighted move weighted moving average 
so you can create this just you need to change and similarly exponential moving average so this is the difference and the values you can like say i i can con change it to 2 change it to 10 so it will it will con consider the 10 10 points is you you do not have the 10 points here 10 data points so i will change it to 2 minutes of sum and probably you will get the 10 data points over here and it will average those and 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 give you the trend trend value now a real life example that if you want if you want an alert like say uh, i have uh, i know my cpu utilization goes to a specific time a specific time now if if it goes to a specific value my average uh, not time uh, uh, if my cpu utilization goes to a specific uh, means uh, a specific uh, average more than a specific average value so i should get an alert so like uh, uh, suppose i am getting for an average uh, 12 12 is the average now 12 or, or 16 is the average now in the next time if i am getting more than uh, 12 or 16 so it should uh, give uh, an alert so what we can do is simply just i will provide an extra condition that if my value my daily value is greater than my simple moving average trend value so create an alert so this is the one so okay so if you have the the trend uh, the the values for which the simple moving average is, is more so you can create an alert you can go to uh, this is my free version so alerting is not enabled so i have already created a video for alert in fundamental one so you can go and have a look over there so this is how you can uh, achieve the required required uh, you can utilize it for your real time real time uh, scenario so at, uh, here i have given only five as much long as much big the number is the more accuracy will be there so it it uh, for five uh, like say uh, if i am giving the five values the five values can be here it can get get uh, 20 again it can go to five now it can go to 30 and again it go can go to so it if this kind of data is there so it's better to take a longer value like say more than 100 or or 100 200 500 or you can go up to 10000 so 10000 is not not very good number but but okay it will take time to calculate the 10 10 10, uh, 10 samples and get the average so this is the one so we can just recap the uh, session so trend value is generally used uh, for trending your uh, trend your data to get the trend how how my specific uh, server utilization or or uh, uh, memory consumption is happening so if utilization is uh, happening so you can create a trend accordingly you can uh, use this as a, a forecasting um, and all other aspects you can create an alert out of, out of it there are three uh, kind of uh, 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 trend we can use simple moving average exponential moving average and a weighted moving average uh, and I also we have seen the uh, we have seen the syntax of it trend uh, type period and field and and the renaming values and there are a few few examples also we have seen 
so i guess that's it about uh, the trend line uh, command hope you enjoyed the video thanks a lot for watching bye bye